Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we are looking at the Zubin X340 crossbow and that one is special because it can shoot bolts and actually shotgun pellets. It is a compound crossbow. This means that you have these excenter cams here. Um, so this means that there is a certain amount of resistance that you have to overcome but then towards the cock position it gets easier and easier. Um, also as you see that it has some kind of a barrel that really works like a profile and uh, it actually can center the arrow but it can also center the shotgun shells. I'll show these to you later. What I love about it is that it's absolutely stable and solid because this is a solid piece of aluminum and also I love that the um, that the bow arms are actually split. This means that the string is gliding in the middle and there's almost no chafing and this will hopefully lead to a much longer lifetime of the string itself. It comes already mounted with a scope and also you get the uh, quiver and you get three bolts with it and also I think 10 of the shotgun shells. I'll show those to you next. So it's a complete package and I think Zubin sells it for about 550 US dollars uh, in uh, in the US and uh, in Europe it's a little more expensive because of the import tax and the uh, sales tax that is 19%. So this sells in Europe for 649 euros and you can find the links down below in the text description. So this is the uh, shotgun ammo and as you see it comes in a sabot and the sabot actually holds how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 lead pellets. Um, I think you could also use steel. Hopefully it's not too light then. And they are secured with an o-ring but if you remove the o-ring you would see that these are actually two halves. So what happens is that when you shoot it as soon as they they leave the barrel the two halves start to split and fall away and the lead pellets because of their high momentum will keep on flying just much like when they fired from a shotgun. Not with the same speed but considerably highly energetic. So inserting this thing is much like an arrow. First you usually have to cock the crossbow and then as you see it fits perfectly well into the guide here and uh, so before you insert it obviously you remove the o-ring uh, and then it would held together by the entire barrel system. In order to cock this thing they give you this rope cocking aid which is quite common it has two hooks here and um, this makes it possible even for a little boy or a little girl to cock this thing. Although I don't recommend that you give a dangerous weapon like this one to miners. In any case, this makes it super easy to cock it. This works super easy. You simply put the weapon down, put your foot in the stirrup, then you hook in these two little hooks and then you pull up. And it is cocked. Now once it's cocked, the auto safety has engaged and you can actually operate this uh, with your left or with your right hand, so it's actually ambidextrous. And now it is time to insert the arrow. And of course you can use the carbon fiber arrow that come with them. They're actually uh, super cool. But I like to shoot the very inexpensive made in China bolts because they're heavier, so they have more momentum. But also because I just don't like destroying beautiful carbon fiber arrows. <laughs> and what I like is that these glide in by themselves and they automatically uh, press against the string and which means that um, now I can disengage the safety and fire away. Of course as I said the rope cocking aid is for little boys and girls. Men actually don't have to use this thing because it's just 190 pounds of a draw force. So it's ridiculous. Every man should be able to simply press it against the chest and then pull it back like this. That's way quicker, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I admit I'm not a master shooter, but it's about the size of a dinner plate I got all four shots in and I think that was about 25 meters, which is how much? Almost 30 yards. Not so bad. As you see, it shoots hard enough to uh, punch through the entire archery mat and it's a double layered one. Not bad. Okay, let's shoot it over the crony to find out how fast the arrow flies. And first we, t we try one of the cheap aluminum arrows. 
Okay, those were 301.9 feet per second. Now I'm shooting one of the carbon arrows that they supply with the weapon. Okay, those were 330.4 feet per second. A lot faster than the aluminum arrow. Now we're putting in one of the shot shells and I've already removed the O-ring. And what I like is that you can simply let them drop in. So there's no need to just use an arrow to, uh, to put some pressure behind them. So this was 348.3 feet per second. Okay, and of course we need to know what these little lead pellets can do to ballistic gelatin. <laughs> As you can clearly see, the lead pellets definitely entered the ballistic gelatin, not very deep, but deep enough for like squirrels or I don't know what you would hunt with this. Of course, you can only do that where legal. Of course, it's quite clear that the arrows are the far more lethal ammunition for this crossbow. But I like this pellet function, I really do. <laughs> and as you see, one hit a little bit higher, so it split the gelatin open, and the other one hit it right in the center here. And still, the penetration is spectacular. This is Rolfi, our latest team member. <laughs> He's just 10 weeks old, and he will be big. <laughs> <laughs> what I first didn't really see, but Bernd noticed it, is that there's actually a little secret folder here where you can put in your ammunition and then close it again. So you always have your ammo right with this. You have the arrows and you have the pellets. So the Zubin X340, what do I think of it? I think it's a, it's a great crossbow, specifically for the money. It is well made, it is very sturdy, it has the really unique feature that it also shoots pellets. Um, and um, the price is sensational if you uh, keep in mind that you get a full package. So I can really recommend it. Okay, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye-bye.